this video, we are going over my top 6 altcoins to invest in right now. They have the potential to make some massive gains this year in 2021. And while the entire crypto market has been on a downtrend lately over the past several weeks, that does not mean that it's a bad time to buy. In fact, red days in the market can provide a great buying opportunity to invest when prices are much lower as we are going to start seeing some huge moves from these cryptocurrencies in the coming months and before we get started i should let you guys know that as always i'm not sponsored or paid to say anything about these cryptocurrencies all of this is based from my own research and I, and I spent a ton of time doing this research for you guys so that you don't have to these are the ones that i believe are going to blow up this year and by watching this video to the very end you'll get a full understanding of what you should be looking out for right now i'll go over recent news fundamentals and why i expect these cryptocurrencies to explode and if there is a cryptocurrency out there that you would like me to cover in the future let me know down in the comments below and tell me why you like it. And if you do end up enjoying this video, do hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel as a big portion of my viewers are not subscribed. It's free and you can always change your mind later. And I know that you didn't come here for me to just babble on. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now the first coin on our list is going to be VeChain. Now VeChain is a blockchain and cryptocurrency aimed at helping businesses improve their supply chains and logistics. Now, Beijing's cryptocurrency VET has been on a downturn, plummeting 62% since late April to seven week lows around 10 cents, as cryptocurrencies all across the board have been falling lately. Now, Sonny Liu, the former chief technology officer of Louis Vuitton China, co founded Beijing in 2015 until 2018 when Beijing was renamed and transferred to its own blockchain. The VET token ran on the Ethereum network. VET is one of the two tokens that operate on the Beechain Thor blockchain, with VThor token being the other. Now, VET is a native security token for value transfers, where VTHO is a utility token for transactions and smart contracts executions. Now, Beechain provides supply chain management solutions for major businesses using blockchain technology. Enterprises may utilize Beechain to manage their inventory along the supply chain because of its fast processing rates. Now, the VeChain Foundation reduced the base gas price by 99% in April to encourage developers to build applications on the blockchain, capitalizing on the growing popularity of non-fungible tokens or NFTs and decentralized finance or DeFi. Not only that, but the current partnerships with BMW, Sam's Club, and Walmart China, among others, according to their white paper, make it a very impressive project. Now, their primary goal is to improve supply chain management and related business operations, but they also have other use cases, such as food safety, which could lead to a more straightforward and transparent food economy, health records, and even being able to track carbon emissions. And this makes Beijing's addressable market absolutely incredible. Not only that, the Beijing network will allow you to act as a network validator to help verify transactions, and in return, you will be rewarded with additional cryptocurrency. And this is a great way to earn some passive income just for holding and again thinking long term. And you can currently stake VET on Trust Wallet, Exodus, Binance, and Crypto.com. And you can also buy VET and store it on Binance, KuCoin, and Crypto.com. Now, for number two on our list is it's going to be dot. Nope, not this dot, this dot. Now, Abby Wood, a co-founder of Ethereum, founded the Polkadot Network in 2017. The Web3 Foundation, located in Switzerland, Switzer Switzerland, is working on the project, which seeks to allow a completely decentralized web in which the centralized platforms, rather than huge businesses, offer individuals control over their privacy and personal data. Now, DOT is now worth roughly $41. However, it has dropped roughly $22 as a result of a significant market decline. The network's digital token for staking, bonding, and governance is a DOT cryptocurrency. The Polkadot community uses tokens for governance and voting on network Network improvements. Polkadot, unlike cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, can be updated to repair issues or add new features without needing a hard split or spin off, making it easier to adapt. Now, Polkadot's main goal is to bring together blockchains into a single network so that they may interact 
and collaborate. And you can buy Polkadot on major cryptocurrency exchanges, including Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. Now, before we go on to coin number three, you are going to notice a ton of crypto scammers, especially in the comment section. And YouTube has decided until this day to not do anything about these scammers. So please remember that the real me will never ask you for your phone number and to send them an email. The real me will always have their name highlighted. So now let's move on to crypto number three, and that's going to be a third generation cryptocurrency the promises to address Bitcoin's scalability problem and Ethereum's smart contract deployment problem and has become one of the most talked about cryptocurrencies out there with one of the strongest communities out there and that's Cardano. Now Cardano had some of its strongest months ever in February and April this year with gains over 720% and it's currently trading at $1.46. Now Cardano skyrocketed when other cryptocurrencies were down due to slow and steady growth and a major upgrade. Now Cardano is currently sitting at the number fifth spot in terms of market cap among the leading cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now Cardano is one of the few coins that has shown some stability. And if you believe that Cardano is one of the greatest cryptocurrencies for solving Bitcoin's speed and scalability issues, then it might be one of the best cryptocurrencies to invest in and look into a lot more, as Cardano also has one of the strongest communities out there. Now, Charles Hawkinson, Cardano's founder, discussed the advantages of Cardano's proof of stake platform in a recent interview with Lex Friedman. In comparison to its competitors, the proof of stake system consumes significantly less energy energy. Furthermore, he recommended that ADA, Dano's cryptocurrency, should be Elon Musk's Tesla's first choice to start accepting payments. And you can currently buy Cardano on Coinbase, Binance, Gemini, and, and all of the other major crypto exchanges, which by the way, you can get your free crypto and stocks using my links down below. It really does help support the channel. Now moving on to crypto number four, it's going to be Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. You should have a really good idea about what Ethereum does by now and why Ethereum 2.0 is going to be the biggest catalyst driving the price all the way to the moon once again. And I I do believe that Ethereum is one of the best cryptocurrencies out there right now. And if a cryptocurrency wants to thrive in this market, then they need to have some sort of real world utility. Now, Bitcoin is the most popular and generally known cryptocurrency at the moment, but the Ethereum blockchain, on the other hand, is utilized for a range of applications, in my opinion, making it a better investment. Now, Ethereum provides the basis for additional applications such as NFTs and decentralized finance in addition to the Ether token. Now the decentralized finance movement wants to disrupt the financial system and NFTs have the potential to revolutionize the way digital products are purchased and exchanged. Ethereum 2.0 also aims to make the blockchain quicker, more scalable, allowing it to be utilized in a wider range of applications. And this might increase Ethereum's usefulness and offer it a competitive edge. Now, cryptocurrencies are still very volatile as the last several weeks have actually shown and Ethereum dropped over half of its value between May 12th and May 24th. While it has recovered since then, downturns like this may be difficult. And this is not going to be the first time Ethereum will lose and has lost its money in a short period of time. In fact, the price of Ethereum has dropped by roughly 94% in 2018. So if you decide to invest in Ethereum, be sure to have a high risk tolerance and are only putting money at risk. The last thing you want to do is gamble your whole life savings on a crypto investment. But in my opinion, Ethereum will always have the potential for huge, huge gains. So make sure that you've done your homework and understand what you're getting into before investing into this cryptocurrency. So with that in mind, let's move on to my last coin on the list. And that's going to be a cryptocurrency that was highly requested by many of you. So again, if there's a cryptocurrency that you would like me to go over or talk about, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make sure to read through them. So the last coin on my list is going to be XRP. Now XRP was developed in 2012 by a group of engineers who gave 80 billion XRP to a private business named OpenCoin, which is now known as Ripple Lab. Now this is what distinguishes XRP from nearly every other crypto project in the world and that it's essentially for a profit platform. But the one main problem that they're going through right now is that the US Securities and Exchange Commission sued Ripple and its two co-founders in late 2020, saying that they generated more than $1.3 billion in an unregistered ongoing digital asset securities sale 
aka XRP. The lawsuit has yet to be resolved. So this is going to be a high risk, high reward if you do decide to invest into XRP. Now, XRP is known for being the world's quickest digital asset, but XRP does have some really great use cases. Now, they are known for being the world's quickest digital asset, allowing for near real-time worldwide payments from anywhere in the globe. As a result, several payment providers utilize XRP to increase their reach and reduce foreign exchange expenses. Now, XRP reached roughly 60 cents in 2020. However, it has increased in value during April and May and it's currently trading at 83 cents. Now, XRP, which was created for digital payments, claims to be a quicker and more efficient means to enable global payments. Third-party work on additional applications for XRP is also possible with Ripple and XRP. So essentially, the SEC is suing Ripple because they feel like XRP is a security and not a cryptocurrency. And so all of the money they've generated so far from retail traders is unlawful as it was not registered. But prior to all of this, Ripple looked to have a good relationship with the SEC. So in the end, Ripple is quite likely to win the lawsuit, which will likely lead to a price increase. But of course, no one really knows what's going to happen. And in my opinion, this is one of those really high risk high rewards because if they end up winning the lawsuit that they have going on right now, then that's going to be a really big catalyst and take the price all the way to the moon. So as always, make sure to be cautious with this one. And you can currently buy XRP on crypto.com and Kraken. Now, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, then congratulations. Just be sure that after watching this entire video, you still do your own due diligence into these investments. There will always be a lot of people still debating that cryptocurrencies are a Ponzi scheme and there are others that are buying today and have no idea what they're doing and when the price drops, they start to panic. Mainly because they don't understand what they are investing in. So be sure to understand these cryptocurrencies as they are a lot more than just profit-making machines. There's actual technology behind them. And I do believe that cryptocurrencies are here to stay and the question is going to be where to invest your hard-earned money in the market. And just remember that as you decide on what investment you make, to use this video as another source of information to help you base your decision after you do your own due diligence. So if you found this video interesting, then please be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite cryptocurrency for 2021 or the one that you would like me to discuss in a future video. Also, do not forget to grab your four free stocks from Weeble, your three free stocks from Robinhood, and up to $500 worth of free cryptocurrency down in my links below. Also, please be sure to check out the Patreon link as it really does help out the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.